uh, Europe is not competitive when it comes to bulk production, but we do have some of the best quality products in the world. And we can be even better. If you want your audience to listen to what you have to say, that was the way not to do it. My name is Jose. I am an interpreter in the Spanish booth, the Spanish unit. But I do not only work in the booth, I also animate seminars for people like you. People who now and then have to work in multilingual meetings with interpretation. The reason why we do this is that we interpreters, we have a lot of experience as to what makes a good communicator. And we thought that we could sort of share this experience with you in order to create a win-win situation. Audiences and interpreters react in a very similar way when they have to face a good or a bad speaker. So what we do in our seminars is put everybody in the boots. Okay, I will put you, the both of you, in the booth. Who would like to go? Okay, you will go with the lady to the German booth. We explain them what interpreting is all about, and then we ask them to interpret the same speech twice. First time, we do, we deliver the speech doing all the wrong things you can imagine. The main aim of this exercise is not to judge you. In fact, you are in the booth to judge me, to judge me as a speaker. Cities will continue to do well, creating unceasing opportunities. There is no reason why there shouldn't be an equal sense of optimism and dynamism in your rural areas. Your society has deep rural roots. When roots stay strong, the plants stay healthy. Look after your roots. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. Then we deliver the same speech. Exactly the same speech in the right way. We say no more. Participants themselves draw the conclusions as to what works and what doesn't when you have to work in a multilingual meeting. We all know that when the roots are strong, the plant will stay healthy. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you and I together will manage to look after our roots so that our plants, our rural areas stay healthy. Thank you very much and have a lovely afternoon. Okay, feedback, feedback, feedback. Were there any positives? No. Yes, there was one. You kept your microphone on. Good. <laughs> you didn't make any breaks, any pause in your speech. Brilliant. Brilliant. Lots of people do not understand the importance of the pause, not only for the interpreters, but especially for your audience. The pause will allow your audience to absorb the message. If you rely only on the content, you will lose a lot of people. You need all kinds of non-verbal communication skills. Eye contact, body language, intonation, poses. <laughs> now, this, this, this is a dogma. This, I have seen this happening thousands of times. As soon as people talk to a piece of paper, they will begin losing, losing, losing the audience. So instead of doing this, what do you do?